VTuber Maker is a VTubing program that can be used for live streaming and making YouTube videos with a 3D avatar. It has many features from live capturing your facial and even full body movement to creating effects and adding backgrounds and 3D props. Today, we will go over the entirety of the program so you can fully understand how to use VTuber Maker to its full potential. Let's get started. The menus on both the right and left will disappear if you are not hovering over them so you can have a clean scene of your avatar. If they don't disappear, go to the cogwheel for settings, scroll down to automatically hide the menu bar. Let's start with importing a character. Hover over the left menu and click the button that looks like three people. Here you can choose a .vrm file of your avatar. Once you have chosen your avatar, you can close the menu. To control the camera for your avatar, you can right click and hold to move the camera up, down, and side to side. If you want to rotate the camera, simply go to the right hand menu and click the button that looks like a rotation arrow. Now you can right click and hold to rotate your avatar. To get back to the panning camera option, click the cross arrows. You can also reset the camera to the default view by clicking this camera button above the two camera controls. Now let's look at the features VTuber Maker has for your avatar. To continue with the left menu, at the top you will see a smiley face. Click that button and a menu will pop up for options for facial expressions. If you would like to program shortcut keys for these expressions, you can click Open Shortcut. Here you can assign a key to each expression. This menu has shortcut options for every feature in VTuber Maker. I will go over them as we continue to other features. The Jumping Figure button will take you to a menu of poses and preset motions you can use to animate your avatar. Once again, you can open the shortcut menu to assign keys to activate any movement. You can also save a set of movements as a .bvh file. What is a .bvh file? .bvh gives you motion capture data that you can then import to programs such as 3D Max, Maya, and Blender. In the menu, you just need to select which avatar you want to capture. We will look at adding multiple avatars later. Find the folder you want to save your BVH file in, then select Start Capture. Now you can press any movement or facial expression, as many as you'd like, and then hit Stop and the file will automatically be saved. Next is the Effects button. Here you have a wide range of special effects you can have happen to your avatar. Once again, there is a button that leads you to the shortcut menu, so you can toggle a hotkey to the desired effect. You also have an option to have multiple effects triggered at the same time by going to the Multiple Effect Editing Mode. By checking this box, a new menu will pop up where you can choose the desired effects. To start, click on Group Management, create a new group. Make sure the group is selected, then go to Effect Editing. Add all the effects you want. A side menu will pop up that allows you to move, rotate, and scale each effect if you would like. Once you have finished creating your group, click the Group Update button. Now when you click Execution, you can see your effects play. Now you can also create a hotkey for this group. You can make as many groups as you'd like, but can only hotkey up to five. Moving on past the Avatar Selection button, we have the option to save camera angles. To do this, move the camera around to the desired position, then click Add Current Angle to List. Doing so will save it and then you can name the position, move it up and down the list of angles if you have multiple, choose to have this angle be your startup camera position, as well as export it. You can now, of course, create hotkeys for these camera angles. Next, you can set a background. You can choose any solid color, including chroma key green and blue, or transparent. You can upload an image, use your webcam or video file, or you can share your screen. Next to the background button is the Place 3D Object option. To add a 3D object, under the Object Reading tab, click Open Folder. And in another folder window, find the folder you have your objects in. Drag those files into the folder that VTuber Maker opened, then click Load Folders. The files will load into the program. 
vtubermakersupports.obj, .fbx, and .glb files. Select a prop by clicking Read. If you want to secure the prop to a body part, click here before selecting Read. Go to the Displayed Object tab and click on the loaded prop you want. When you do this, another window will pop up that allows you to manipulate the prop so it is the size you want and in the place you want. You can save a group of props under the Save Groups tab. The Set Foreground Images button allows you to add JPEGs and PNG files to your scene. Once you find a picture, you can resize and move it around your scene with the left and right click and the scroll wheel. You can have them placed in your scene and turn them off and on when you like. To save your scene as an image, simply click the Save Image button. It will automatically save in a VTuber Maker folder in the Pictures folder as a PNG. You can also record a scene by clicking the Record button. To stop recording, simply press it again. The video will automatically be saved in a VTuber Maker folder in the Videos folder as a .mp4. Now we can move to the right side menu. Starting from the bottom up, we have the button that will take you to the website showcasing all the details of VTuber Maker, as well as the manual and troubleshooting help. If you have any questions or issues with the program, this is a good place to start. The memo window allows you to read notes you've made. All you need to do is import a .txt file. The webcam icon is the reset tracking button. Clicking this will have the program reset the calibration of your face in relation to the avatar. So make sure when you click it, you are staring neutrally at your webcam so the tracking is accurate. You can also toggle your webcam view on and off with the button right next to it. Be careful if you are streaming not to hit this button unless you want your real camera to pop up. Luckily, VTuber Maker has an additional prompt that pops up to make sure that you really want to turn on your webcam. We already went over the camera controls, so we can continue up to the settings. In settings, you will see the shortcut tabs. The shortcuts one tab is where you can add hotkeys for recording, camera angles, backgrounds, and effects. The shortcuts two tab is where you can add hotkeys for expressions, poses, and motions. The System tab is where you can find technical settings for the program, such as language, which webcam to use for your background, and window settings. The Light Source tab allows you to create lighting for your scene, playing with such things as the position of the lighting, as well as the color. The Camera tab is where you can create camera moves, as well as adjust the look of the scene, such as color correction, focus, and other effects. In the recording tab, here is where you can change where the videos are saved, as well as screenshots. And the info tab will let you know all the details about your computer, internet, and the program. The next button on our side menu is the avatar adjustments. Here in the settings tabs, you have important options for making sure you are using the correct device for facial capture, the settings for facial capture, and the settings for full body capturing with your Perception Neuron Motion Capture suit. The Face tab is where you can adjust the way the avatar's head and face move. The Body tab is useful when you are body capturing, but this is also where you can change the standby posture. Finally, the other tab will allow you to bring up information about your avatar's license. And finally, we have the Tracking Toggle. When you click on this button, it'll take you to the on and off switches for facial, body, and audio syncing tracking. You will see that you have these options for up to three avatars. If you would like to add more than one avatar, simply click on the avatar slots, then choose your avatar to import. Now you can customize your options for each avatar as long as you have that slot selected. Now let's look at connecting your Perception Neuron suit to VTuber Maker using Access Studio so that you can control the full body of your avatar. First, in Access Studio under Settings, go to BVH Broadcasting. Under Capture, change your skeleton to VRM and make note of which IP address and port number you will be using. If capturing live, the port should be 7001. If you are using playback of motion you already captured, then use the Edit section and use port 7003. 
Make sure you've toggled the on switch for whichever section you are using. In VTuber Maker, go to the Adjust Avatar Settings and scroll down to the Perception Neuron section. Make sure you are using the correct bone mode, Axis Neuron if using the PN Pro suit, or Axis Studio for the PN3 or Studio suit. Choose the correct character ID, most likely zero if you are only using one character. Double check the IP and port number. Always remember to hit update and save for the changes to take effect. Now go to the tracking menu and turn on Perception Neuron. You should now be tracking. If you see your avatar's feet don't match the floor, go back to the settings and try the automatic adjustment. If that doesn't quite get it, you can input your own amount. And here's a quick look at capturing two avatars at the same time. And there you go. You are now ready to use VTuber Maker to its fullest. Happy VTubing!